Star Wars only. I don't know what the fuck your problem is. Ron Howard takes a Twitter to talk about Solo, a Star Wars story, and the disappointing sales. Uh, someone tweeted out, I've been reading so many theories as to why Solo hasn't been doing so well at the box office. Sad to say, some Star Wars fans are snubbing Solo because they're still upset over The Last Jedi. If so, they're missing out and punishing a good film for something that's not its fault. So, Howard responds to this tweet with saying, I'm proud of Solo, a Star Wars story, and the cast and crew worked hard to give fans a fun and new addition. As a director, I feel bad when people who I believe in Exit Poll show will very likely enjoy a movie, don't see it on big screen with great sound. So... He's talking about how, you know, basically people don't want to see it because of The Last Jedi, and they're mad about that. And he's kind of saying, without, uh, you know, confirming it, that he agrees. And he thinks that Solo is a solid movie. Of course he does. He directed it. Still, it's kind of sad. So, Solo estimated to lose about uh, $50 million for Disney, uh, $50 million for Disney, uh, despite popular belief on Twitter. Uh, not Twitter, Instagram. Uh, someone posted on Instagram saying that, oh, it beat production costs. Like, they had a picture of, like, it cost $250 million to make. But it made two hundred and seventy-six million. That I, I put in the comments because I was like, "This isn't how this works." I was like, "You're not including the marketing," and someone was like, "It's also not including the merchandising." And I'm like, "You guys are idiots! Y'all don't know how the business works." It beat production. Great. That doesn't include marketing, which is easily an extra hundred million dollars. Merchandising does not correlate with the movie at all. That's not movie revenue. That's a different atmosphere. I don't sit there and I'm like, oh, my money from uh, YouTube also comes into my paycheck through my daytime job. No, it's a separate paycheck. So it doesn't correlate at all with each other. If I'm doing well on YouTube, that doesn't mean I'm doing well at my other job. So anyways, people are stupid. That's all you ever need to know. Anyways, uh, I'm a little disappointed with this news. Uh, I, I like Ron Howard, and I think he's a good director. He's got some good and bad films. Uh, I just kind of, I, I, I sympathize with him because, honestly, people who are protesting Solo a Star Wars story, I understand the notion behind it. I don't agree with the method of it because I would rather you protest Episode Nine. Reason being is Solo a Star Wars story has nothing to do with the episodic films at all. It was in production before The Last Jedi even came out. So you protesting protesting this movie doesn't do much. I saw Alex Becker, the business guy and big Star Wars fan, I assume. He's like, oh, you got to protest it and everything, and Star Wars dead and it's never coming back. I don't entirely agree with that. I agree with some of the points he made. He's a very smart guy. Um, but still, my, my problem with this is, is people are protesting this movie when... It's not the one to blame, you know. The only person that worked on this movie that had anything to do with The Last Jedi or anything else would be Kathleen Kennedy. You're All you're doing with protesting this movie and this movie losing money is proving Disney right. And that, that that's that this movie was going to lose money. They, you know, I made a video about this, how insider sources and leaks were coming out that Disney expected this movie to fail. They did not expect it to be a good film. And so all you're doing by boycotting this and making this movie lose money is proving their point right. Now, to be fair, it is good if they that they lost money. If you want them to remove Kathleen Kennedy and change Star Wars, that's a good you know that's a good thing. It's a good note to have. However, what you really want to do is not see Episode Nine and make that money, um, well, that film lose money, make it lose maybe about fifty million. Save your money and don't go see Episode Nine because then what will happen is they'll be like, hey, we expected this film to do well and it's not. Because they really didn't expect The Last Jedi to do as well as it did, as The Force Awakens did. Hence why they, you know, upped the uh, ante on how much of a percentage they, percentage they take from uh, movie sales uh, at local theaters, movie ticket sales, which was kind of messed up. So that's why they did that, so they can make a bigger profit. They didn't push it as hard in China, and they, you know, they kind of, they didn't lose money, but they didn't gain as much as they wanted to. But that's okay, they were mainly worried about America. So when Episode Nine's going to ha- come out, it's going to be all focused on America, and they're really going to want to focus on, you know, the Western civilization how they're going to do Europe, of course, as well, but China, not so much, not really the Asian markets. So what you need to do is not go see episode nine. You don't want to be that idiot who goes, I'm not going to see Solo because, you know, I don't like Kathleen Kennedy. And then Solo flops in the box office. You're like, yeah, they got the point. They got the message. Let's go see episode nine and see if they fixed it. If you do that, you're an idiot because you should really go, I'm not going to see Solo because I don't like Kathleen Kennedy. And I'm not going to see episode nine because I don't like Kathleen Kennedy and the agenda that they're going for. Episode 9 has more writing on it than, you know, Solo does. Reason being is, Episode 9 is an episodic film. It's the one they expect to do well. Solo, they did not expect to do well. So, despite contrary belief, Solo was not a good target. Episode 9 is the perfect target. If you don't want Kathleen Kennedy anymore, and you want Star Wars to change, what you need to do is not see Episode 9. That's my advice for you if you want to get Kathleen Kennedy fired. Don't boycott Solo, even though the boycott's kind of over because the movie's dying out. You need to boycott episode 9. I'm Star Wars Only. I hope you guys liked this video. Uh, I'll see you all next time. May the Force be with you always.